there you are. <laughs> At least someone's here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my first assignment and most of my crew is out with food poisoning. <laughs> I told them not to order sushi on a Monday. Everyone knows that's the leftovers from the weekend. <laughs> wow, I'm rambling. Hi, I'm Kelly Porter. <laughs> I'm Reggie's producer. Oh my goodness, okay. If you don't mind, I am going to sit you down and uh, I'm gonna mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. We're gonna throw you right here. And uh, you know, <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm wearing a lot of hats today, um, uh, but not makeup and hair. You know why? Cause Dax, what's up Dax? Dax and I are vegan and uh, we didn't catch the same plague that the rest of the crew caught. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna need an audio level from you. So uh, yeah, just, mm? Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, cat, dog, penguin. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, uh, 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 everything looks good. Reggie, he's all yours. Hey. <laughs> Oh, man, it's great to have you here. Back where it all started. Yeah, it's good to be back and to see a familiar face. You look great. Oh, come on, man. Look at you. You the one that look good. So listen, basically, today is going to be pretty straightforward. You've seen the show before. OK, well, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your life and career. It'll be fun reminiscing. And, and don't worry, OK? I, uh, I got your, uh, your agent's threatening texts, and the kid glove stays on today. <laughs> OK. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> Ho, ho, ho. I see you still got those all-pro reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that's how it all started for me. You know, if memory serves, you didn't start out playing football back then. That's right. It's my first day here as a transfer student. Football kind of just found me. Now for the Beast de Renaissance. Your helmet. Got those fancy words from this French girl I met recently. Okay then, let's see what you can do. I don't know, coach. I haven't played since Pop Warner. Okay, football's just like music, kid. Once you learn how to play it, it never leaves your soul. Besides, if you're as half as good as you are in hockey, we're in great shape. Hey, Tommy, give him a ball, would you? We've already got a QB, coach. Darn good one based on the colleges that have already made me offers. And a modest one, apparently. Look, we still don't have any depth behind you. If we want to compete for state, it's always best to be prepared. All right, suit yourself. You got plenty of room on the bench anyways. Ready, go! Go! Hawk heavy! Ready, cut! 
the edges, I definitely see some potential. What do you say we smooth out those edges at practice? Sounds good, coach. Good, good practice. Welcome to the team. Hey, thanks, man. All right, man, listen. I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't gym class, okay? This is my team. And as long as you understand that, we'll be fine. You got it? Find yourself a box, keep it clean. Seat's taken. Me, all right? Yo, get out of here, bro. Captain of the team in the corner away from everyone? Shouldn't you be in the middle of the locker room, morale and all? Well, I'm just over here for some peace and quiet. I like to get my head clear before a game. But I can't really do that if guys like you keep bothering me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just... This whole recruitment thing, it's really stressing me out. Thought you had a ton of offers. I did, but they can disappear as quickly as they come in. Plus, if I'm not on my game at all times, I can pretty much kiss it all goodbye. I mean, no full ride to college and no shot at the NFL. NFL? That's a bit lofty, isn't it? Maybe, but I got a lot of people counting on me, so it's the NFL or bust. Well, if you're as good as advertised, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a chance to see up close on Friday night. <sighs> Who's that? That's Reggie Brown. He's uh, in charge of the school paper and the social media account. He's a pretty good kid, just, you know, a little annoying. Great. And here he comes. What's up, Reggie? <laughs> Tommy Matthews, the man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Reggie? Oh, maybe an exclusive for the paper? You know, winning me over with flattery will absolutely work every time. OK, I got an exclusive for you. You ready? OK, so uh, so get this. You're, 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 you're really going to love this. OK. So today, I was in the cafeteria. And you know how I usually have a chocolate shake at lunch, right? right? Okay, so today, this is crazy, I had a vanilla shake. That's crazy, right? I mean, vanilla. Yeah, well, Tommy, man, you gotta give me something I can use here. Anything, man. Well, how about a quote? Okay, Reggie, here's a quote. Tommy Matthews scores four touchdowns and leads his team to another victory. How about that? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I can make that work. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey, if you really want a quote, I can help you out. Who are you, exactly? Uh, I'm the new backup QB. Uh, backup QB? Yeah, I'm good. No, thanks. Uh, 
Uh, on second thought, I need something to report on, and it might be worthwhile for the fans to learn the new face of the team. Yeah? Yeah. Ask me anything. Okay, uh, first question. Which quarterback style would you say you emulate the most? Well, it's been a while since I played competitively, but back in the day, my game was closest to Russell Wilson. I'm always gonna look to use my arm first and foremost, but if the opportunity presents itself, I can pull it down and make teams pay. All right, all right, solid answer. So when out on the field, how would you describe your personality in the huddle? Well, no matter what sport you're playing, the most important thing you can do is be ready when your number's called. So whatever coach asks me to do, I'm gonna do it. Finally, that's something I can report on. Thanks, QB2. I'll see you out there Friday night. All right. Tommy. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have this bug that's going around. You don't look fine. You look sluggish. It's like you're not playing with any heart out there. Don't you dare talk to me about my heart. I've put everything I have into this. This game is my life. If you have so much heart, prove it. Because you're not showing any out there. Oh, oh, hey, easy. Easy, man. I didn't mean to upset you. You're right. About what? About my lack of heart. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. No, it's my heart, man. I was born with a congenital heart defect. What does that mean exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body properly. Tommy, I'm sorry, I had no idea. I had a surgery when I was nine to repair it, but my doctor's saying I need another one. Tommy, you need to get help immediately. Listen, if word gets out about this, that's the end of my football career, do you understand? Please, you can't tell anyone about this. This is serious. You can't afford to wait any longer. It's just fatigue at this point. I'll be fine. Okay, I just need to get through this season. Plus, I owe it to these guys to help them win a state championship. You're not helping anyone out there tonight, especially yourself. Plus, you're putting a huge risk with your health. You should sit this one out. Why well, didn't let you take over? I don't think so. I'll be fine. All right, boys, bring it in. Is that a word? Well, it's hard to celebrate homecoming when you're being shut out by your crosstown rivals. Tommy Matthews is just not playing like himself tonight, and that is the major storyline as we continue our coverage. Tommy, hey coach, what's the plan? I'm gonna have to bench you for the rest of the half. Take off your helmet, have a seat. Wait, wh what? Wh wh what do you mean? You're, you're pulling me from the game? Coach, I, I, I've given everything to this team. I'm doing what's best for you and for the team. Please, sit down. Uh, Coach, I don't know what he said, but I, I'm fine to play. Look, I've got scouts here watching me tonight. You can't bench me. No, you can't play. For me, please, sit down. Hey, we'll talk about this later. I promise. What'd you say, man? I had to. I know you're worried. I need you to focus. You got 52 other guys out there coming on you now. I mean, 52 guys? No sweat, coach. Do it. Good, because we're going to need you to ball out. 
That's not asking too much, of course. No, I got this. Was it the play calling? I've had two whole weeks to digest everything. I'll be fine. What can go wrong? Great. Well, with your raw athleticism, you got this. Hope you're right. Whoa, you forgetting something? Your helmet. The piece to Renaissance, the most important part. Come on, you got this. Yeah, you're right, coach. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you got this. He so doesn't got this. And welcome back. Kevin Connors with you on one of the most special games on the schedule each season. Homecoming weekend. This live stream is brought to you by EA Sports. And that's a solid effort on the return as the offense heads onto the field. So I'm not sure what to make of this, but Tommy Matthews was just benched for a backup who joined the team only a couple Go. of weeks ago. And get this, his teammates nicknamed him QB2 because they thought he'd never see the field. But here he is. Completes the throw to his tight end. You know, I gotta say, it's kind of odd seeing someone other than Tommy Matthews delivering these throws. I mean, he was basically the face of this franchise, in a manner of speaking. They'll go to Hawk for the first time in this second half. And he's taken down after a nice run. So Coach Fetu feeling blessed to have a running back like Sammy Hawk that can take the pressure off QB2. On first down, they go back to Hawk. Still going. And there's plenty of green in front of him. 10. Touchdown. And if that isn't validation for Coach Fetu, I'm not sure what is. An opening drive by QB2 that finishes in the end zone. And it's good. So they trim the lead by one more point. The score now 13 to seven. So an unexpected drive by an unknown backup we call QB2 leads the way to this kick. And this will be caught deep in the end zone. Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. So the Bearcats are lined up now. And there's Coach Summers yelling some instructions to his QB from the sideline. A high throw, but he makes the catch. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. A pickup of 13 yards. Good for a new set of downs. Looking to throw, here's Carpenter. Breaks a tackle, still moving. And that'll be a pair of yards on first down. Brian Washington there to make the stop. All right, so following the short game, here's second and eight. The Bearcats will run it now. And they'll make the stop after a solid gain on the play. A pickup of four on the play, so it'll be third and four. Carpenter settles into the shotgun look. On third down, back to pass. He's in trouble, and down he goes. The Bearcats lined up, ready to punt it away. And he gives it the boot. And we won't see a return here as it's eventually down by the kick team. Now QB2 came off the bench to lead his team to a touchdown the last time out. Here's a chance now to prove it wasn't a fluke. A sweet move and keeps going. And he's finally taken down just inside the 30. Hawks lined up in the backfield. First down and here's the ground attack. 
And he doesn't waste any time picking up the first. He opens that series with an excellent run. Well, I've got a moment. I gotta give a quick shout out to my man Reggie Brown with the school newspaper here. He took the time to show me around campus earlier today. This kid's got a real future as a reporter. I'm telling you, he did a great piece on QB2. And that is caught! Touchdown, Dragons! And this game is tied at 13. Can you believe it? Now they're lined up for the extra point. And they'll take a narrow lead, just one point between the teams. The tally now, 14 to 13. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. This will be caught deep in the end zone, and he'll take a knee for the touchback. On that Bearcats sideline, head coach Raymond Summers doing his best to keep his kids motivated. Go, go, go. I mean, they've watched a 13-0 lead disintegrate with a snap. Carpenter's pass is intercepted. Picked off by Washington. And, and it's all the way home. Touchdown, Dragons. Ryan Washington. His first score of the game. It's up and it's good. The lead now, 21 to 13. Following that pick six touchdown, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. Coming from deep in the end zone, and we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback. Well, I gotta say, all the Bearcats fans that showed up for this game, yeah, they're not nearly as loud now as they were earlier when they were enjoying a shutout. The ball's loose. The D's got it, they're on the move. And it's all the way back for a touchdown. Here's Myers now for the extra point. And the point after attempt is good. The advantage now, 28 to 13. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. This is fielded deep in the end zone, and this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. Opening play of this drive for the Bearcats. And boy, a touchdown would go a long way towards building up a comeback. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. And he'll find his way up to the 32. As a quick side note, what an honor it's been to team up with EA Sports to bring you some of the best high school football action in America. The players will be competing for Heisman trophies, national championships, and even Super Bowl titles in the years to come. Some of them are on this field today. You can feel the desperation as the offense lines up on. They're facing a challenge. Set. Looks to throw out of the shotgun. The ball comes out. They reacted quickly to save their drop. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. Ends it flying. Washington fields it. And he's the twit line. Here come the drag eye, and there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. And he won't get much on first down. Noah Searcy on the stop. Now he tucks it. Check out the skills. And that's a solid pickup before he's finally taken down. 12 yards gain, and they move the chains. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's QB2. Back to pass on first down. Fires right. It's complete. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. 
Triple zeros on the clock as we reach the end of the third quarter. More high school football on the way after a short break. Rip left, rip left. Cuts toward the right sideline. Go, 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 go. And he's all the way home for a touchdown. Sammy Hawk. And that's the kind of play we've come to expect. And they add yet another point, one of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. So the scoreboard reads 35 to 13. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. This is fielded just inside the goal line. And he's taken down after crossing the 20 yard line. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone. It's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Here, oh, look, the ball's loose. Scooped up by the D. And they'll have it at the 16 yard line. The Dragons send out their offense. And they are very much in control of this game. You, 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 you. And he makes the grab. Touchdown. score now to tack on another point and he gets it to go the score now 42 to 13 everyone's lined up ready for the kick fielded in the end zone and he's not able to do much with it, just a decent return. The Bearcats take over on offense, and they're playing for pride at this point. Their deficit, a considerable one. Scans the field. He's got it past the marker. First down, Bearcats. Gun looking to fire. Holds onto the ball as he takes a shot on that play. With just a mile to go, here's second and very long. Surveys the field. Down goes Carpenter. The defense does it again on back to back downs. Let's see if the O-line is able to better protect their quarterback got, this time around. Got. Out of the gun on third. And that drops incomplete. So now they're looking at a fourth down. Ready to take a chance. Here's fourth hey, and you, very you, long. You, From the gun, it's Carpenter. But he's sacked to end the drive. So the Dragons will take over with great field position. From the back of the eye, Hawk scans the field. Watch left. They'll hit the ground running on first. Shrugs off a defender. And he won't get much on first down. Shane Hamlin there to stop him. complete to his tight end and he takes it into the end zone touchdown dragons just two plays needed to find the end zone and the kick is good our score now 49 to 13 ready now for the kick Caught in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 24-yard line. First play of the drive for the Bearcats. Let's see what the future holds on first and ten. 
throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. Oh, no, he coughs it up. <laughs> Following the sack, here's second and very long. Out of the gun, it's Carpenter. Finds Stocker on the slant, and he stopped at the 32-yard line. Needing just a couple yards, it's third down. Looking to pass. Just a textbook defensive play there to force the incompletion. Here comes fourth down. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And here's the kick. And this will wind up being a touchback. So the Dragons are lined up now, and they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard. And that's a tremendous run to lead off the drive from first down to first down. Looking to run some clock. Here's the handoff. And all it takes is one play to move the sticks. A great run there. 17 yards gained, and that's good for a first down. Boy, a brisk pace to this drive as they look to keep up the momentum. They got 18, 18 left to go. And that'll be caught along the left sideline. And he stopped just on, short of the 20 yard line after a big time play. Following that tremendous play, it's first and 10. Looking for a receiver. He finds his running back for the completion. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Dragons. And that should seal the deal. And he puts it through. Following the touchdown, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. Geez, all that effort and not much to show for it. He'll start this drive just beyond the 20. Opening play of this drive for the Bearcats. And to be honest, all hope seems lost, but these kids continue to show some heart. Sends it to Stocker. Now he's brought down. A solid gain of six there on first down. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Watch Here's right, Carpenter. Watch right. Watch right. On second down, he'll drop back. Man, got, man, oh, it's a fumble. And the Dragons take possession. They closed in on that ball quickly. Lined up in the backfield, there's Sammy Hawk. Play action, QB2 to throw. That would have been a touchdown if it hadn't been for the quick hands on defense. To go after that incomplete. That is. And he takes it in. They're looking unstoppable right now. And he knocks it through. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. In the end zone. And he's taken down after crossing the 20 yard line. Lined up in the shotgun. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. Slings it downfield. Oh, and it's incomplete. Tried to go long on first down, but it only results in a long walk back to the huddle. Following that incompletion, here in 10. 
Drops back to throw I'm it again. To you. I'm going Got it out just in time, but a solid hit forces that incompletion. Someone check that dude's chicklets. Zero progress on this drive thus far. It's and 10. Shotgun snap. Here's Carpenter. Looks to his right. It's complete. Say goodbye. And he stopped at the 21 yard line. A big time play that gets a roar from this crowd. And that will do it. A comeback to remember. So as our EA Sports live stream comes to an end, I'm Kevin Connors signing off. I'm going to be watching you. I would just with one eye, with both of my eyes, all right? Keep doing good work, and I'll be in... Hey, uh... Grant Simmons, recruiting analyst over at RecruitsToWatch.com. Heck of a game at that night, son. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? Not really. I'm just kind of having fun out there. Yeah, yeah, I see you out there having fun. Well, uh, look here, when you're ready, Give me a call, all right? We'd love to add you to our site. My man. The man of the hour. You're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot to prep for the playoffs. <sighs> but I'll tell you what, if you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Are oh, you really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. So? I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right. Let's get started. Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength? Uh... Well, just think of one of them. Anything. Uh, I feel like my receivers would say I throw them a pretty good ball. You know, I got this touch pass that puts it right where it needs to be. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well, Reg, I guess there's your exclusive. Need a word from my office. and the host of tonight's clash between the Brush Hogs and the Dragons. Thrilled to be joining you this evening. I'm Kevin Connors. Well, the anticipation is over. A year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears has come down to this. Game time in the state championship. He'll be brought down after finding a bit of room up the field. The Dragons take over on offense. And you know, with a state championship on the line, every drive can seem like it's the most critical. He breaks away. Touchdown! Sammy Hall. A show-stopping score now to add the extra point and that's good for a 7-0 lead following the 
touchdown. The Dragons are ready to kick it away. From a yard or two inside the goal line, he's got five ball. Now it's picked up going the other way. And it's all the way back for a touchdown. And now it's time for the extra point. And they extend their lead. 14 points separate these teams. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And he was hoping for more as he gets taken down after an average return. Quarterback Gavin Dixon and his Brush Hogs offense take the field for the first time in this title game. It's a give to his receiver on the sweep. And the defense didn't give an inch on the play. It'll be second down. Well, for the Brush Hogs, this game marks a return to the state championship. It's, it's a chance for redemption after losing a blowout just one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this matchup adds a whole new dimension to this showdown. Rainey's lined up in the backfield. Looking to pass on first down, the Brush Hogs give it to Rainey and will call it no gain on the play as it'll be second down. From the gun, looking to throw. Fires the ball and it's complete. Now he's taken down. Not a lot on that reception as it brings up third down. The defense is set up for the pass. to throw here on third. Under pressure and sacked. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. And you know what he said? He said they took the game film and they buried it. He insisted they put it behind them and that they are ready to raise the trophy. The Dragons send out their offense, and they begin this series with a comfortable but not insurmountable lead. He's got a man wide open. There's room to run. A 20, 10, touchdown. Benny Fuller. And that's a play worthy of RecruitsToWatch.com. And they add yet another point, one of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. So the scoreboard reads 21 to 0. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Caught in the end zone. Oh, and he was hoping for more as he gets taken down after an average return. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. And you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. Not able to throw it away, gives up the sack. As anyone knows, high schoolers and social media, it can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rainey stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his brush offs. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not wrong. Needing to make up some ground. Here's third and long. Looking to throw, here's Dixon. Delivers on the screen. And he's got it past the marker, first down. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team, and Someone who comes from a family with deep ties to Nebraska football. His dad, Dixon, is sacked. He couldn't elude the defense on that great pursuit. With just a mile to go, here's second and very long. Out of the gun, it's Dixon. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. 
nine-yard gain, and now everyone's on their feet, myself included. Dixon hands it to Rainey, and that goes in the wrong direction as they're tackled for a loss. Stuffed on the previous play. So time expires on the first quarter of play. Three more to go in this state championship showdown. Back in a moment. Shotgun snap, here's Dixon. And now a flag comes out as that falls incomplete. Here's the call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So it's roughing the passer, and it'll cost them 15 yards. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since I think the eighth grade, and to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, who wouldn't want to be a Husker? So it's not a done deal till he signs that letter of intent, but there's a very good chance we'll see this young man in Lincoln someday. Rainey gets the handoff. Whoa, and that play goes backwards as he's tackled for a loss. Looking to convert once again. It's third and eight. From the gun, here's Dixon. He's on the move. He's got it, they're on the move. He breaks free. He's at the 30, 20, Oh and, my goodness. and it's all the way home. Touchdown, Dragons. They just continue to light up the scoreboard. It's up and it's good. The tally now, 28 to nothing. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. And this will be caught deep in the end zone. Really no need to risk it. He's just going to take a knee for a touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drive. Dixon hands it off to Rainey. Mm, and they give up yards as he's tackled for a loss. You know, another thing about Nebraska football, we got a couple of former Cornhuskers in the house here today. Delonte David and Rex Burkhead are here to take in this. It's a fumble! Scooped up by the D. And they'll have it at the 26-yard line. So the Dragons are lined up now, and this is excellent field position as they begin this drive. Wait, maybe not, he's on the move. And he's brought down after a solid pickup. 11 yards on the play, and a first down for the Dragons. Hawks lined up behind QB2. It's caught at the six. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Dragons. Just two plays needed to find the end zone. And the point after attempt is good. The score now, 35 to zero. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. This will be caught deep in the end zone, and he'll kneel down for the touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. Let's see what the future holds on first and 10. Dixon takes the snap, and they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Okay, so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what play Rainey posted, and. It was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening. Yes, very bold. And you know what? He was pretty quick to delete it, too. Works his way forward up to the 27. A pickup of two on the play. And that makes it third and eight. 
The defense is set up for the pass. Third down from the gun. He's got Rosas. And that won't be enough to move the sticks. Fourth down coming up. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel. And yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. There you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of bulletin board material is here. The Dragons take over on offense. It's just been amazing to see. They've yet to finish a drive without putting points on the scoreboard. They start the drive with Hawk. And there's a big game before bounds. When you look around this stadium, clearly a state championship of this caliber will draw thousands upon thousands of fans, and there's more than a few NFL players among them. Before the game, I saw guys like Patrick Peterson and the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, signing a bunch of autographs. And it's incomplete. Schillens shut that down. Following that incompletion, it's third and six. QB2 takes the snap. He makes the delivery. And he picks up the first down. I spoke of the NFL players in attendance here today. Earl Thomas and Jarvis Landry happen to be watching from the sidelines tonight. And get this, Adrian Peterson showed up at Coach Fetu's request and surprised him. And he's tackled at the 17. A 35-yard game and a first down and much, much more. With halftime just around the corner, it's first down. Let's go, you tighten up. Now from the red zone, it's QB2. Oh, change of plans, he tucks the ball. Now he's out at around the eight-yard line. A gain of nine on the play, so it'll be second and one. QB2 settles into the shotgun look. And that's almost a touchdown. Stopped at the last second by some great timing on D. From the eight-yard line, it's third down. QB2 looks downfield. But it's a one, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Dragons. QB2. He's thrown for three scores before halftime. And he gets it to go. Our score now, 42 to nothing. Following that costly score, here comes the kick. Coming from deep in the end zone. And it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee. They come out five wide, three to the right. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. Oh, he lost the football. Now it's picked up going the other way. He seized it, and it's all the way home. Touchdown, Dragons! And they stretch their lead. And the kick is good. So the scoreboard reads 49 to 0. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. This is fielded deep in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as he drops to one knee for the touchback. Rainey's lined up behind Dixon. On first down, he'll drop back. Into the flat, it's complete. They bring him down. No gain on the completion there. Second and 10. Shotgun look. On second down, back to pass. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. And 
he's brought down at the 44. Timeout called by the Brush Hogs. That'll leave them with two in this opening half as we near the halfway mark. On first down, back to pass. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Now the Brush Hogs call timeout. They're down to just one now as we unravel the final moments of this opening half. Forces that throw, and it's intercepted. Kicked off by Ellington. And they'll have it near midfield. It's our time! So after one half of championship action, it's the Dragons in control. And when we return the second half of this historic showdown, we can only hope the rascals who pulled off that halftime prank are brought to justice. Either way, it's time to get back to the game. Here comes the second half. This is fielded just inside the goal line. Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. The drive begins on the ground with Rainey. And they'll take him down after a nice pickup. <laughs> I've got to take a break from the game here for a moment. I think the pranksters I mentioned earlier are still on the loose. Over in the Brush Hogs fan section, they're holding up signs they found underneath their seats with the letters that spell. Let's just say there's a reason we aren't pointing our cameras at them right now. Operating now on the opposite side of the field. It's first and ten. Now a handoff going left. And he is gone. And he's tackled inside the red zone after a huge game. A 30-yard game. And that's a first down and then some. So it's a jet sweep, watch the receiver. And the defense doesn't let that play go anywhere. Stopped for no gain. Nothing doing on that run on first down, so still the full 10 to pick up here on second down. Dixon looks downfield, and he's not able to come down with it. Third down on the way. Looking to convert once again. It's third down. Back to pass. They set up the screen, and that's complete. And he's tackled right at the 10. A pickup of eight on the play, and that makes it fourth and three. First field goal attempt for the usually steady kicker. Dre boots it up and through. And they're finally on the scoreboard. A tally now, 49 to 3. Taken at the one. And that's a solid effort on the return as the offense heads onto the field. The Dragons send out their offense. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. And that'll be a pair of yards on first down. Patrick Cohen's on the tackle. Goes to his left, it's complete. And he rips off a nice gain to the 45-yard line. QB2. Oh, the ball comes down. He's looking to go. He'll take a shot at the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Dragons. Sammy Hall, his second touchdown catch of the game. And he puts it through. Touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. And 
he's not able to do much with it. Just a decent return. Come on with it, man. So the brush hogs are lined up now. And there's Coach Thompson yelling some instructions for Gavin Dixon from the sideline. And now he's tackled with a flag on the field. Holding offense. Come on, man. So there you have it. Yeah. Offensive holding as they give up 10 yards. With just a Watch mile that. to go, Watch it's first and very long. Caught by Rosas, taken down as he makes the grab. A solid gain of six there on first down. Rainey's lined up in the backfield. Second down, running it. And he comes up with a nice gain before he's taken down. While I've got a moment here, I'd like to thank my guy Reggie Brown for the well-researched game notes he gave me earlier. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QB2 since he joined the team, and I gotta tell you, that little Sparky has really earned my respect. Might be after my job one day. Dixon hands it to Rainey. Oh, and he's brought down for a loss of yards. So I mentioned the game notes Reggie gave me earlier, and here's an interesting fact. Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played Coach Betu in a football game back in college. Now, it wasn't for a championship, but Coach Betu's Trojans won that non-conference showdown. Amazing how we've come full circle here today. So that'll do it for this third quarter of action. And after a quick break, we'll return with the final act of this state championship. Drops back to throw here on third. Delivers on the screen. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Ten yards that time. Good for a brush hog first down. They snap the ball. Into the flat, it's complete. Oh boy, and that'll set them back as he's tackled for a loss. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone. It's second and long. Looking to throw again. And coming out of the backfield, that's complete to his running back. And look at that, tackled for a loss, sending this offense backwards. Well, the last two plays, a trend they don't want to continue. Each of them going backwards. So now it's third and long. That's the snap. Now he's forced out of the pocket. And he stopped at the 47. The Brush Hogs lined up, ready to punt it away. And he gives it the booth. And we won't see a return here as the ball goes out of bounds. Here come the Dragons to start the drive. And they are very much in control of this game. And he's down at the 30-yard line. While doing some prep for this game, I got a recommendation to check out RecruitsToWatch.com. And let me tell you, QB2 is well represented with some jaw-dropping highlights. And you gotta remember, you know, until earlier this season, he hadn't played a down of football since Pop Warner. Think about that kind of meteoric rise. And a solid gain up to the 49. A pickup of five on the play. And that makes it second and five. The Dragons will run it. And they're not able to stop him before he comes up with the first down. One last thing on recruits to watch. You can go to the archive and watch videos they have on players that are now in the NFL. I highly recommend you search for DeAndre Hopkins and Le'Veon Bell's highlights. I mean, it's like watching someone play Matt. You know, Madden from the video game. Madden. All right, so following the short game, 
Here's second and eight. He's back to pass. And coming out of the backfield, that's complete to his running back. And he's tackled at the 21. A 22-yard gain and a first down and much, much more. Off the bootleg, here's QB2. Throws left, it's complete. And he's got the first down just outside the end zone. From the two-yard line, here's first and goal. They'll go with the run, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Dragons! And that should seal the deal. And he knocks it through. Following the touchdown, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. And this will be caught deep in the end zone. Really no need to risk it. He's just going to take a knee for a touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And we'll see if they've come up with anything to prevent this drive from ending with yet another punt. Gathers the snap. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. And as we near the end of the game, the grim realization continues to settle in for the Brush Hogs and their fans. History repeating itself. One year ago, they lost a blowout in the title game, and now, one year later, in the same venue, it's a blowout loss on the horizon. And you just can't help but feel for these kids. From the gun, it's Dixon. He finds his tight end. And that's a huge gain that puts them on the opposite side of the field. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Back to pass on first down. Absolutely nowhere to go, and he eats that sack. Lined up in the shotgun. Looking to pass on second down. Ooh, he took a hit as he threw it, and that'll end up incomplete. The defense is ready on third and a mile. Out of the gun, they'll throw. And they're unable to make the connection, so here comes fourth down. And the kick is away. And the ball sails out of bounds as the offense makes its way onto the field. And that will do it! The Dragons are state champions! Signing off now, I'm Kevin Connors as we give way to this euphoric scene. Right here, this is my favorite part. The spin move you do. Breaking that dude's ankles and the stiff arm, woo! Reminds me of my playing days, Samoan warrior style. <laughs> it's too bad you stepped out of bounds. You could have scored a touchdown. Well, there's no way you could have dodged. Tommy, how the heck have you been? <laughs> hey, Tommy, how you feeling, man? Good. Got a clean bill of health. I'm ready to get back out there. Come on in, have a seat. Didn't think you'd be back. Trust me, I tried transferring. Doesn't seem like any other schools want to accept a perceived health risk. But I've got a clearance for my doctor, coach. I'm ready to play. What do you think? It's only right you take your spot back. I would just keep it warm for you. You know, the team seems to be doing just fine with you out there. And seeing that you're kind of thin at receiver, I was thinking that maybe I could help out by lining up outside. Shoot, yeah. We'll work something out. 
like you said, Coach, you got to do what's right for the team. It's the best news I've heard since my Aunt Lokalani's bore one best in show. I'm going to get the playbook. We're going to start drawing some stuff up. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! I know I'm not your favorite person in the world right now. You're not even in my top seven billion. That's fair. Just know I did what I did to protect you. Not to try and take everything that you worked for. And I can understand if you're angry with me, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make it right. I'll tell you how I can make it right. The Midwest Prep Showcase, later this season against the Central Hawks. What about it? Well, they're the best team in the country, and it's a nationally televised game. That means every recruiter's gonna see it. So what do you want from me? I just want you to let me go out there and do my thing and show the recruiters what I can do. It's my last chance of getting an offer. Fine. But if it's not working out out there, then I gotta get the other guys involved. Trust me. You won't need to. Football teams in the nation will collide here at Arrowhead Stadium when the Hawks take on the Dragons. Wait, it's it's your yeah, rapper, producer, entrepreneur, Snoop D O Double G. Please believe it, that's me. But hold up, ain't you one half of them heartbreak boys? I'm a huge fan of yours. Nah, man, I'm a fan of yours. Check this out. If the coach and half the stadium knew what I was about to say, they'd try to run me out of this town, man. But let me tell you this. I've been following y'all's story for quite some time. And I'm pulling for y'all tonight. Wow. That's... that's amazing. Thank you so much. For sure, my brother. Now get out there and go do your thing. Snoop, you know Tommy Matthews? Tommy! Hey. Hey, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. I'm such a fan, man. Hey, likewise. Love your hard work, your dedication, and how you just put the team and put everything on your back, man. That's beautiful, man. It takes a whole lot to do what you did. Well, th thanks, man. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get out there and make it count, man. It's a whole lot of schools that's gonna be watching y'all tonight. And I got a feeling I'm gonna see y'all again. Good luck. Ball out. Will do. <laughs> thanks, Snoop. For shizzle, Snoop. <laughs> Yo. You just met Snoop D-O-double-G. I know. That was cool. But what? Let's go do this, man. <laughs> la dee da dee da <laughs> is loud and on its feet as Alan Myers gets things started. Caught in the end zone, and he'll take a knee for the touchback. So in this matchup of top-ranked QBs, it's Braxton Knight and the Hawks with the chance to strike first on this opening drive. He doesn't waste any time picking up the first. He opens that series with an excellent run. All these kids so thrilled when they found out this year's edition of the showcase would be played at the home of the Kansas City Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium. This is now a premier event on the high school football calendar. Meanwhile, here comes the snap on second down. Going again on second and 10. Here's Knight. And it's incomplete, so we're looking at third down. The defense is set up for the pass. Drops back to throw here on third. Thrash brings in his first catch. And he comes very close to coming up with a first, but it's not to be. Here comes fourth down. 
Apparently, the kids on the field weren't the only ones thrilled about this game being at Arrowhead. We've got an incredible turnout for one of the most hyped matchups of this season. So for the first time in this showcase, we'll get a look at QB2 and his offensive weapons, Tommy Matthews among them. And not much room there as he'll get up to about the 21-yard line. So get this, earlier today I was speaking with Hawks coach Kevin Robbins and in typical fashion, he did, he's got it! He's in the clear, Go time, baby. touchdown! He used to throw him, now he catches him! Tommy is back! And that'll make our score 7-0. So as they get set to kick it away, I can't help but think back to what Coach Robbins told me before the game, how his defense was going to shut down QB2. Hadn't exactly happened, and I'd be very interested in hearing his thoughts right about now. send out their offense and the chat for this live stream filled with opinions presented as facts by the way feel free to I know I do and he's brought down after a nice gain on the play Arrowhead Stadium one of the best venues in all of football and you know who loves it here the coach Jonathan Coachman big time Chiefs fan he's a Kansas native in fact I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the house today Tackled as he pulls in the ball. Not a lot on that reception as it brings up third down. The Rock goes to Rome. Now he's taken down, but not before coming up with a first. So yes, there's an obvious reason why they call this the Midwest Prep Showcase. Every year, it's quite literally a showcase of the nation's top players. But this year is the first time they've ever had the top two quarterbacks in the country face off. I'm speaking, of course, about QB2 and Braxton Knight. Grove gets another carry. And officially no gain on the play at second down. You know, a high-profile game like this can generate the interest of some big-time schools, and this stadium is loaded with coaches from powerhouse programs. LSU, Clemson, Oklahoma, you name it, they're here. And watch him take this to about the 37 before he's taken down. Look, I'm sure that punter is a good kid and all, but they want to see as little of him as possible. And if they don't convert here, his twig legs are coming back out again for the second straight seat. It's a jump ball, and this is caught. It's a 32-yard game and a big-time play. Okay, now that I'm back in my seat, why don't we pick back up with the action here, first and ten. From the shotgun now, inside handle, and he stopped around the 30-yard line. I mentioned a few colleges earlier with recruiters in attendance. A guy Reggie gave me a list with a few more names on it, and you know it's a heavyweight matchup when you've got schools like Oregon, Florida, and Southern California among the fans here today. Picks up a nice chunk of yards before he's brought down. Looking to convert once again. Here's third and three. Now they'll throw from the gun. And that drops incomplete. So now they're looking at a fourth down. Final preparations now as he locks in from long range. Sutherland drills it. And they put three on the board. giving up the field goal. The Dragons are back to receive. Fielded at the three. And 
he's brought down at the 24-yard line. So the Dragons are lined up now. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. And all it takes is one play to move the sticks. A great run there. 13 yards on the play. And they pick up the first. Hawk gets another carry. And he won't get much on first down. Lucas Randall on the stop. Got to share a quick story. All right, so I'm making my way to the press box before the game, and who do I see but the dog father himself, Snoop Dogg. And he's seeking out QB2. But here's the thing. Snoop is a diehard Hawks fan. He finds a lane. He's on the move. Ten. Oh, it's a touchdown. Sammy Hawk, a show-stopping score from beyond midfield. up and it's good the lead now 14 to 3 after giving up the touchdown the Hawks are back to receive fielded in the end zone and we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback so the Hawks are lined up now and Field General Braxton Knight finds himself in an unusual situation. He's not used to being down double digits at any point in his career. Knight's pass is intercepted! I saw a handful of face masks on that tackle. Face mask. Defense. Get out of here, man! So there's the call. A face mask penalty on a play that definitely warranted it. Inside the red zone, it's QB2. A quick hitter for the completion. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Dragons. They're looking unstoppable right now. And they add yet another point, one of many in this matchup. They're a big right now. So the scoreboard reads 21 to three. Following the touchdown, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. From a yard or two inside the goal line, he's got it. And this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. Opening play of this drive for the Hawks. And they really need Braxton Knight to flip a switch and march this offense down the field for points. The drive begins on the ground with Grove. And that'll be a pair of yards on first down. Miles Dotson on the stop. One last thought on Snoop, you know, he's a Southern California guy, Long Beach, if I'm not mistaken. And I wonder if he wasn't whispering in QB2's ear about the Trojans, right? I mean, who knows, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. Following that incompletion, it's third down. From the gun, it's Knight. And they drop him for a sack. So let me just take a moment to say here, when you stand next to some of these young men as I have, they look ready size-wise for the next level. I mean, some of these kids are huge. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And he sends it away. Here's Washington. The ball's loose, and they'll have it at the 46-yard line. Play of the drive for the Hawks. 
And they've got to just be thrilled to begin this drive on the plus side of the field. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Knight. Sends it to Thrash. And he stopped at the 41. Well, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, the size of some of these kids. Just take a look at Kelvin Thrash, number 87, the Hawks tight end. He could suit up for a primetime college game tomorrow, no problem, and not get blown around. And he's not able to come down with it. Third down on the way. Out of the gun, it's Knight. Scratch that, he's moving right. Hits the deck, and he's got the first down. Braxton Knight, easily one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, hasn't faced a double-digit deficit since he became a starter last season. And when he gets this offense clicking, it is a sight to behold. And he's brought down at the 14. Midway through the second quarter, here's second and inches. Looking to throw, here's Knight. The ball comes out. The D's got it, they're on the move. And they'll have it at the 26-yard line. Here come the Dragons to start the drive. Remarkable consistency so far. They've scored on every possession of this play of the game. And he'll barely get a yard on first down. Barry Forte with the tackle. Looking to throw, here's QB2. Oh, change of plans, he tucks the ball. Great footwork, loses the defender. And he's out of bounds at the 46. Hawks lined up in the backfield. On first down, they'll run it. And he's across the 50 to the 47. Sammy Hawk, a standout player born in Clemson's backyard, but the rumor is the Tigers are not his top choice, and it's no secret he's made a few unofficial visits to Gainesville, Florida, Gator country. Shotgun look. On first down, he'll drop back. Oh, hold on, he's running left. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. This is a beast, baby. Well, you can feel the defense scrambling a bit. They could really use a stop with their backs against the end zone. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. And he's tackled at the three. A gain of five on the play. And now it's second and goal. with the run and he shows off some strength before he's wrangled to the ground from the one yard line here's third and goal they'll try to punch it in with Hawk he will not be denied touchdown Dragons Sammy Hawk his second rushing touchdown of the game. And it doesn't go through, but some of his teammates give him credit. They're right there to give him some encouraging words. After giving up the touchdown, the Hawks are back to receive. Caught in the end zone, and he'll kneel down for the touchback. The Hawks send out their offense. They've got to make every play count to have any chance of mounting a comeback. He's got a man. First down, Hawks. Timeout call by the Hawks. They've got two remaining. And with halftime on the horizon. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Knight. Looking to pass on first down. Delivers the ball and it's complete. And he's finally tackled, but there's a penalty marker down. the passer, defense. 
so it's roughing the passer. And that's a 15-yard penalty. On first down, back to pass. Now he finds his target on the out route. And he's brought down at the 37. Now the Hawks call timeout. That's their second one thus far. And with enough time for one more play. before the break. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. And he's finally tackled after a solid run. Okay, here we go. So, after one half of this exclusive event, it's the Dragons in control. And when we return, the second half of the Midwest Prep Showcase. The wait is over. Time now to kick off the second half of this matchup. Fielded in the end zone. And it's effectively a touchback as he stopped at the 25-yard line. Hey, man, Here come the Dragons to start the drive. And let's keep an eye out, but they make it more conservative as they nurture that sizable lead. Goes to Maddox. And he's got the first down. Naturally, people across the football landscape are sharing their thoughts on where they think QB2 will go to college. Some think Miami, others insist it's Texas. But I can tell you this, I am beyond confident his decision will be the top thing trending on signing day. Wait, maybe not, he's on the move. He'll pick up the first down, and he's finally tackled after a solid run. 16 yards that time. Good for a new set of downs. Lined up in the backfield, there's Sammy Hawk. The Dragons will run it. And he'll try to power his way through, but he winds up losing yards. You know, going back to signing day, I gotta say, despite the crazy number of people who came out to see QB2 in person here today, there are so many more following him on social media, waiting on any kind of announcement. Truly, the level of interest is like nothing I've ever seen. Now a chance to finish off what was nearly a touchdown, and he goes straight out of touchdown! Sammy Hawk! What a game for this young man! Three rushing touchdowns! Point after attempt is good. The score now, 34 to three. Here comes the kick. This will be caught deep in the end zone, and it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee. So the Hawks are lined up now. And now Coach Robbins barking some instructions for Braxton Knight from the sideline. They start the drive here with Grove. Nice looking gain, but I have a feeling this one's coming back. Holding offense. No! So there's the verdict. Offensive holding as they give up 10 yards. With just a mile to go, it's first and very long. Knight hands it to Grove, and he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. So Coach Fetu spelled F-E-T-U for the longest time. I was pronouncing it Coach Feta, like Feta Cheese. So let's just say I'm thankful he's a forgiving guy for as big a guy as he is. Times it to Monroe on the slant, and he's down at the 35. Just short of the marker, it's third and inches. From the gun, inside handoff. And they'll bring him down after a nice run. Now going back to Coach Fetu, someone who is universally beloved by players old and new, 
but he's certainly got his quirks. If I gave you a dime for every time he said Samoan warrior style in a film study, I think you'd be a very rich person. Stuffed on the previous play, it's second and long. They'll throw from the 50. Going left, it's Cole. And he comes up with a first down. One running back look with three tight ends on the field. Knight hands it off to Groves. And he's tackled at the 33. A pickup of five on the play. And that makes it second and five. Lined up in the shotgun. Back to pass on second down. And coming out of the backfield, that's complete to his running back. And he's brought down at the 24-yard line. Hard to tell if it's that opposing defense that's playing so well or just an anemic offense. Either way, they've yet to find the end zone, but this drive is showing promise. And he's dropped in the backfield for a loss. On second down, he'll drop back. Monroe gets it over the middle, and he'll make his way to the 20-yard line. Whistle blows to signal the end of the third quarter. We'll be back shortly with the final stanza of the Midwest Prep Showcase. And this is caught one-handed. Big time grab. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawks. They finally put one in the end zone. Gets it to go. Our score now, 34 to 10. Well, the students are rising to their feet as we await this onside kick. They had the good hands unit out there and they covered it up perfectly. Worth the shot on the onside kick, but no dice. The Dragons take over on offense and they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard. They give it to Hawk. And that's a fantastic way to start the drive. Just one play needed to get the first. Well, this is the game Gator fans want to see from Sammy Hall. Like I mentioned earlier, he's made some visit. He's out in front. Touchdown! Sammy Hall! And his mom, she's going crazy right now. Her son's having an incredible game. And the kick is good. The tally now, 41 to 10. Following the touchdown, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as he drops to one knee for the touchback. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone, it's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Knight. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Once more on second down. Here's Knight. Oh, look, the ball's loose. A gain of four on the play. And now it's third and six. They come out five wide, three to the right. Out of the gun on third. It's incomplete. Washington comes up with the play. Not much of a choice here. They've got to go for it on fourth down. Fourth down. It's up tonight. Looking for Cole. It's intercepted. Picked off by Douglas. And it's a pick six touchdown. Oh, they are running off the score. Myers is on now for the PAT. And he puts it through. So the scoreboard reads 48 to 10. 
pick six touchdown. The Dragons are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. First play of the drive for the Hawks. And they're playing for pride at this point. Their deficit, a considerable one. Knight takes the snap. And they can't make the connection. And so it'll be second down. Following that incompletion, here's second down. Still looking to throw, it's Knight. He finds Thrash. Now he's brought down. The completion gets them seven. Here comes third down. The defense appears prepared for the pass. He'll go to the air on third and short. They set up the screen, and that's complete. He says, get off me. Look at him rack up the yardage on a big-time play. A 25-yard gain, and that's a first down and then some. He'll throw again. He's in trouble, and down he goes. Following the sack, here's second and very long. Push him back. Push him back. Knight looks downfield. A short throw complete to his tight end. Now he's taken down. Not a lot on that reception as it brings up third down. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Knight. Drops back to throw here on third. And they're unable to make the connection. So here comes fourth down. With the Hawks lined up to punt and down big, I can't help but think of that stat I highlighted earlier. The one about Braxton Knight and how he hasn't faced a double-digit deficit since the middle of last season. Woof. Talk about jinxing a kid. This has been tough to watch. The Dragons send out their offense, and they are very much in control of this game. He's all alone at the 40, the 30, The greatest 20, show on earth, baby. 10, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Dragons. Yet another clip for his growing highlight reel. And he knocks it through. Score on this drive. They're lined up for the return. Caught in the end zone. Really no need to risk it. He's just going to take a knee for a touchback. The Hawks send out their offense. And field general Braxton Knight finds himself in an unusual situation. He's not used to being down double digits at any point in his career. Sends it. Oh, no, he coughs it up. Scooped up by the D. He's ahead of the pack, and it's all the way back for a touchdown. Touchdown! Now the kick for one more. It's up, and it's good. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Dragons are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, and he'll take a knee for the touchback. Opening play of this drive for the Hawks. And to be honest, all hope seems lost, but these kids continue to show some heart. And that'll drop incomplete. He took the hit as he threw it. Shotgun look. Again on second down, it's Knight. Completes that throw on the crossing route. And there's a flag on the field as he's taken down. Roughing the passer, defense. No! We gotta do our job, man! So it's roughing the passer, and it'll cost them 15 yards. Back to pass on first down. Right side of the field, it's complete. He's finally brought down. 
10 yards to pick up there, so it'll be second down. Shotgun snap, here's Knight. Oh, and that almost made his day. The D lineman, old big boy, nearly had the pick. Let's see if they follow up the pass play on second and inches with something on the ground here on third. Here's Knight. But they can't make the connection. Couldn't hang on to it. And now here's the jog of shame back to the huddle. Man, that hurts. And so the Hawks are ready to punt it away. And here's the kick. And we won't see a return here as the ball goes out of bounds. Here come the Dragons to start the drive. And they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard. Drives through the defense. And he doesn't waste any time picking up the first. He opens that series with an excellent run. Hawks lined up behind QB2. First down, and here's the ground attack. And he's finally tackled after a solid run. A pickup of 18 yards, and they move the chains. Boy, a brisk pace to this drive as they look to keep up the momentum. On first down, he'll drop back. Past the marker. And his first catch comes late in the game, but it's good for a first down. Shotgun snap. Here's QB2. Pulled in by Maddox. Great move. Boys the defender. And they'll take him down at the 42. Now the Dragons call timeout. That leaves them with two down as we make our way to the end of the Midwest Prep Showcase. Oh, change of plans, he tucks the ball. Oh, everyone felt that one. And he stopped at the 12. And that will do it. The Dragons win the showcase. On behalf of everyone at EA Sports, I'm Kevin Connors signing off. This question is for both of you. What trait do you think will give you the edge at the next level? I think my ability to quickly find the open receiver is what really sets me apart. I mean, it must have been a little easier with me out there, right? When you snap the ball, you throw it to Tommy, rinse and repeat. <laughs> but seriously, though, the past two years have really put things into perspective for me, and thanks to this guy, I'm just fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to college and further my football career. Wow, okay, gang, I think that puts us in a great place to go ahead and find out where these two are going. All right, gents, who wants to go first? I want you to have the honors. It's the least I could do for all you've done for me. All right. So the decision is made. Tell us, when it came down to it, what led to this choice? Well, there's been a lot of elite talent that have walked those halls, and I'd love to add my name to that story list. Plus, the opportunity to play for a legend like Coach Miller, it's too much of a draw. 
Yeah, he's a guy that's had a ton of success with the school, and I think I, I think there's a lot I can learn from him. All right. All right, Tommy. What you got for us? <sighs> Let's see. Who's it gonna be? Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, Batman needs his Robin, and can't break up this dynamic duo. But in this case, I'm Batman and you're Robin. I never said I wouldn't try to win back my whole position. Details rolling in, everybody, on today's crazy news. Coach Miller is stepping down from his illustrious college coaching career, and in his place, the school is promoting hotshot defensive coordinator Red O'Brien. Now, Coach O'Brien has been all the rage for quite some time, sitting at the top of a ton of schools' shortlist for head coaching gigs, but it sure looks like he's just going to stay put and take over the entire program. But what I really want to know is what it's going to mean for everyone's favorite dynamic duo, the Heartbreak Kids. I know you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years, waiting for your shot, so I made a decision. Neither one of you will be starting. What do you mean? We've done everything that you asked of us. How many of those do you guys have? Now, as I was saying, neither of you will be starting, but both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both get reps at QB. This is a defense first team now. So I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away because my defense certainly won't. You understand? But you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college and winning a lot more of these. So I'm gonna rotate you guys. I'm gonna stick with the hot hand until I see what I can get out of one of you. And you'll start the first half. If you do well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. Coach, you can't be serious. You two are competitors, right? Well, that's how you're gonna have to approach this as a competition. Go on, get out of here. Well, there is no hint of fall here on this hot and humid Saturday.